I'm back. <laughs> it's so good to be back, guys. I, I had a great time in New Orleans. Um, shout out to everybody who uh, is still there or, you know, was was there living, tourists, whatever. Um, yeah, I, I did have fun, but, you know, had to come back. So anyway, Aries. This is for uh, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for July 12th to the 21st. Aries, I don't know what is going on with you. Did you turn into a water sign? Because, like... <laughs> Tapping into your energy, it was a lot of emotional stuff that I was feeling and picking up on. Um, they actually showed me a mirror, and I think I think you are doing a lot of self reflection. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Hmm. Still dehydrated. Anyway, uh, you're doing a lot of self reflection, Aries. You know, and it's such a God. It's such a shift from the last reading I did for you, where you were very much in your fiery Aryan war kind of like energy, doing shit you had to do, right? Um, and I almost feel like it's like the crash from that, you know? It's like, you know when you get like the sugar, even like a sugar high or any kind of high, or like you get like bursts of energy, you have that crash after, you're kind of in a crash um, in that way, but it's it's emotional, it's, it's emotional. Um, they also showed me a horse. So you could be doing the Sagittarius or that you could have, I know it's Mercury retrograde, or you could have Sagittarius in your chart. Um, but I just get the sense, Aries, that that's the energy you've been harnessing, right? That fiery, all about me. It's got to be about me. I got to put me first um, energy, which is not a bad, you know, it's very Aryan, but it's not necessarily negative. I can already feel some like cross watchers being like, yeah, those Aries are selfish. No, 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 no. <laughs> Sometimes you need to do that, right? And so Aries, it served you well. I do feel like it has served you really well up until this point because I feel like w harnessing this energy, like I said, it's been good for you, but now you're to the point where it's like, you're kind of stopping and looking around and being like, wait a minute, is this really necessary anymore? Like, why am I, why am I having to be all about me or why am I having to be so gung ho in, in, in my own freedom, I guess? Because I feel like it's been prolonged for whatever Aries collective I'm tapped into. I feel like it's been very prolonged. Um, and it's like, um, I think it's the Mercury retrograde with the eclipse energy that we're in. It's making you kind of stop and going like, okay, let me do some self-revaluation here. Like, am I really happy? Am I still happy? You know, I'm getting like questions like that. Um, so Aries, it's, it's kind of putting you in the feels. It's kind of putting you in the feels. I did pick up on another Aries group though, where it was, um, it was almost blocking off emotions where you weren't exactly in the field. Again, this is a different Aryan group. I feel like some of you guys just got confused because I switched so fast. So we talked about that first Aryan group and now we're in the group where it's more about blocking out emotions, <clears throat> excuse me. But to be honest, guys, this group that I'm picking up on, and, and again, Aries, this could be all someone that you're connected to. It can also not necessarily be you. It could be someone connected to you in your energy field. It's just energy I pick up on attached to you, right? Um, where there's a blocking off of emotions. And I feel like it's actually substance related, to be honest. Um, yeah, and they know whether it's you or someone else, like it's, it's, it's a conscious, it's a conscious knowing that that's actually like what is happening emotionally speaking. Like you're not, you or someone else is not feeling as much or not feeling very much because spending a lot of time with certain substances or some, you know, party kind of lifestyle, um, anything to essentially not be introspective is kind of the energy that I'm getting, like almost like a fear of being introspective. All of this is coming into play for you, Aries, and I'm pretty sure it's because um, Chiron in Aries is going retrograde right now. Um, I think that might be part of it, okay? But let's get into the pre-shuffle. So we have Ace of Swords with the Devil, <laughs> Capricorn energy, I uh, know, Ten of Swords, Gemini energy, God, Aries, Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy, also my pre-Empress card with the Three of Swords, Saturn, and Libra energy. And then we end with the Ace of Cups, though. We end with the Ace of Cups. And I'm telling you right now, this is all about self-love. This is all about self-love right here. Okay, so Aries, let's address this. So like I said, you're doing a lot of um, self-reflecting. And again, there's still that group that's blocking that off because of some kind of like, you know, substance stuff um I, honestly it's it's so interesting because it's not even true codependence i don't even feel like it's a true codependence energy with this devil for that group that's blocking off their emotions or trying to block off any any clarity through introspection um god how do i how do i explain this it's almost like um it's like a control that's what thank you it's it's almost like a disciplinary energy that's being harnessed to block off the clarity of introspection Intr introspection introspection um 
Yeah, it's a sense of control, but it's it's gone to the point where now it's it's festered and now it's become very devil like and it's blocking off clarity for that group of Arians where there's that block. Um, for those who are doing self reflection, you're you're seeing a little bit of devil energy in your life that you didn't realize was there. Okay. <clears throat> And again, not necessarily bad. I don't even feel like it's that major. Like, I'm kind of surprised for that group that it even is coming out as double energy because it doesn't feel like, you know, because you're, you're getting the clarity. You're getting the clarity and it's not like it's attached to something very sinister. You know, you're just realizing like, oh, there are healthier ways to be. They're more balanced. Thank you. <laughs> balance. I'm a little jet lag, guys. So hang in there with me and you're my first read of the day. Um, there are more balanced ways of being. And then we have this Ten of Swords. Um, mm, revealed. Okay. Aries, this is something that you didn't know you still had with you. That you thought was gone. Like, and it, it's kind of even surprising you. Yeah, it's even surprising you that this Ten of Swords energy, it's definitely about pain. It's pain first and foremost, but it is about things that ended inappropriately or things that had to end and maybe you didn't want them to end but they were they were good for you to end it like it was good for those things to end but there's there was pain associated with it and you're realizing shit maybe i didn't really deal with it maybe i didn't really deal with it and maybe that's why i've been such in this mode of doing for me doing best for me having to be free at you know at any expense sorry jesus i know my words are all over the place Needing to be free, needing to be free for my own benefit, regardless of what happens to people in my life. And I'm not saying that in like a, you know, throwing people in your life to the wolves. I'm not saying that, but like, you know, severing relationships, right? Severing relationships, uh, just being like, you know what? One chance and you're done, you know, that kind of energy. And you're realizing shit, there's more balanced ways of being, all right? And look at that, Aries, look at you. Nine of Pentacles, it is a very single energy I'm picking up on. I mean, it doesn't mean that, you know, this doesn't apply to married Aries people. Um, it can. It's just I am feeling a very much like a lone wolf kind of energy, Aries, to be honest with you. And and you're not happy. You're realizing you're not happy. Oh, Aries. Is, damn it. That was heavy. Usually, Aries, you guys are, again, in such fire energy that it doesn't usually go here. But here we are. Okay. Um, you're also doing a lot of overthinking, Aries. I don't know why that just came in all of a sudden. Some of you are doing a lot of overthinking about it. Be okay, because you pushed it back for so long, okay? And it's it's kind of a tough realization. Um, and it's forcing you to kind of overthink. Don't overthink it. It's emotions. They just are what they are. They are what they are, right? You're recognizing it. You're recognizing you're carrying that in your heart. Even though you are very confident and very abundant and very stable, you're, you're still carrying those swords in your heart. You are. And so you're realizing, shit, I kind of need to deal with that. And you're realizing the answer is, is a lot more of... of nourishing yourself emotionally having a lot more self-love for yourself getting into your emotional waters a little bit and i know fire signs struggle with this a little bit um and again guys don't be offended by anything i say i feel like some of you guys are really offended by what i'm saying right now i'm just the messenger i'm not gonna lie to you sorry i, I don't sugarcoat anything okay um but yeah you're realizing the answer is self-love and really being kind to yourself and also aries you know I'm getting a little bit of guilt too for some of you don't don't go there don't go there don't go there things just are what they are all you can do is look forward and just and figure out the best path for yourself right um and you know once you get to that place of like okay let me let me deal with all these swords <laughs> one by one let me deal with all these swords get all these swords out of my heart out of my back off my back and once you get to that place wait oh i'm getting a phone call i was like what are all these messages anyway um once you get to this place, love can come in. Love can and will come in, okay? All right, Aries, so let's get into your reading. Um, for anybody who has any questions, curiosities, or confusions on how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer, go ahead and check out the link below. Okay. Mm. Mm. I just got fashion. That's weird. <laughs> some, of you, some of you are really into fashion. Are you, like, you're try uh, trying, you're trying to work in the fashion industry? That's really cool. Whoever I'm tapped into, you really like hats. You really, really like hats. Um, and what kind of material? Okay, guys, I'm not a fashion person, so bear with me. I don't know all the terms, okay? I don't know what that is. What is that? It's like a sheer kind of material. Like, you really like to work with those materials a lot? Or you like to wear, you like to wear those materials a lot? 
<laughs> I hear you're in your dialogue. I can just do so much with it. <laughs> That's cute. Uh, anyway, I don't know why that had to come through. That had to come through for somebody. <clears throat> Probably has extra confirmation for you if this reading is for you. Any messages for Aries? Regarding love, July 12th to the 21st. Any messages for Aries regarding love? You know, I'm kind of envious because I can't wear hats. Except beanies. Look what came out again. Look, Aries. You are accepting the truth. Except for those who are trying to block it out and trying to block out that introspection. Most of you, I want to say 80% of you that this reading is going to resonate. You are accepting it. You're accepting it. It's coming in. And I just feel like it just feels a little, a little uncomfortable because it is about emotions. And for the group I'm tapped into, you haven't been really into your emotional waters that deep for a while. So that's why it's uncomfortable, but it doesn't mean it's bad. It's just uncomfortable. Any messages for it? Oh yeah, see, look at the burden. Ten of Wands, Sagittari Sagittarian energy, right? Yeah, it's, the truth is burdensome. The truth is burdening you. And again, it's just because it's making you uncomfortable, but it doesn't mean that it's bad. It doesn't mean that you don't need it. You do need it. Um, and once you kind of work through what you got to work through, you're going to be in a much better place, right? That's why sometimes we get uncomfortable with this stuff because it's stuff that we need to work through. And a lot of people choose not to do it and then they don't grow. It's just helping you grow. Any messages for Aries regarding love? July 12th to the... Wow, 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 wow. Acceptance, acceptance, acceptance is what they keep telling me. Five of Pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy with the tower, Scorpionic energy. <laughs> out with the old, out with the old, throw the old out. That's like, that's literally what they're desiring. They're talking to me a lot today. Anyway, Scorpionic energy with the tower. Also Aries, because it is Mars influence here, okay? So there is a tower moment coming. It hasn't happened yet, Aries, it's coming. Yeah, I feel like if it has happened for some of you, it's very, very few of you. I feel like it's very much pending and it's going to it's going to help you come out of this uncomfortableness because it's about accepting. It's about accepting the truth that you're getting about yourself and making the proper necessary changes um, that you need to do to get happy again. OK, and Aries, I know sometimes it sucks when you think like, you know, you're, you're at the top. You know, you're at the top of the peak, you're at the top of your game, you're at the top of your confidence, and then, you know, something shifts, and you're like, wait a minute, how did I not see that? How did I not see all those little things that I still were carrying with me, right? It's just going to help you skyrocket even higher, okay? It's going to give you a higher peak, <laughs> okay? Think of it that way. Any messages for Aries? Knight of Swords, Gemini energy could also be air or fire. A lot of communication. I feel like there's a person, Aries. I don't feel... Yeah, there's a person in your energy field. Whoa. Oh, that's heavy. Deliverer of truth. Oh, shit. Okay, I got the chill. Sorry, that, like, really took me back. For some of you, this is a guide. Like, for those who are very intuitive or have abilities, this is a guide. But I feel like for most of you, it's a person in your 3D, <laughs> 3D existence in your energy field. Any message, any other messages for Aries? Regarding love, July 12th to the 21st. Okay. Overall energy, we do have Seven of Cups, Scorpionic energy. You got a lot of choices to make, Aries, a lot of decisions. Underneath that, we do have the High Priestess, Piscean energy, also Gemini. You have the intuition to make the right choice. You might feel overwhelmed. You might feel like, damn, I don't know which way to go. Left, right, up, down, sideways, <laughs> reverse. <laughs> um, you have a lot of options. And I feel like you're you're a little wary about making these decisions, especially when all of this realization comes in that of things that you need to change for yourself, right? More of that self-love, get into the higher peak situation. Um, but these choices that are facing you, I feel like it's regarding your actual abundance. It could even be career. Yeah. I'm getting career, also like place of living, like location. You might be looking at a house, actually. Some of you, yeah, oh, that just came in really strong. Some of you may be looking at a house or wanting to look at houses, but you have a lot of choices to make Aries and it is going to lead to abundance if you make the right choice. I know, I know that sucks to hear it like that, but you have a very intuitive energy 
backing you here. And again, some of you, it is through a guide and others it's through your own intuition, okay? To help you make the right choice and you will make the right choice. But this clarity, that okay, that's why this is all happening at the same time. I feel like some of you, like some of you just asked me like, why does that have to happen just at the time we're in our feelings? Because it had to happen that way. You gotta deal with this, Aries. The realizations are coming to about yourself and the things you got to work through because once you work through that it's going to be a hell of a lot easier to make this decision it's going to be a hell of a lot easier to make whatever decisions you have to make okay that's why it's happening now so that you can make the proper choice um sorry jason just messaged me hold on a second um i don't know how to oh well i'm gonna have to wait okay so getting back to you Aries like I said this truth is burdensome very very burdensome and we go into this energy where once you accept and start working on it the tower is going to come down but you're going to be able to make this this decision in the way that you have to make it because you're going to be making the changes you got to make so let's look at the tower um use right away to clarify tell me about the tower for Aries Regarding love, July 12th to the 21st. Tell me about the Tower for Aries. Regarding love, tell me about the Tower for Aries. Regarding love, July 12th to the 21st. Page of Cups, Sincerity. Sincerity in your emotions, like the truest of emotions. Like I know pages get a bad rap sometimes because they're a page. Oh, naive. Oh, lacking experience. It's also about authenticity. Pages are the most authentic court card you can get. This is about being very authentic to yourself and your emotions, okay? Let's see what else we have. Very curious about this Knight of Swords. Tell me more about the tower for Aries regarding love, July 12th to the 21st. Oh, now we got a Knight of Wands. Sagittarian energy could also be Aries or Leo. Let's see what else we've got here. Tell me about the Tower for Aries. Emperor, hi Aries. This is Aries energy, also Taurus for me as a reader. Divine masculine energy. Master of your domain is actually what I just heard. Master, 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 master. Oh my, Aries. Yeah, this is going to be a major up leveling for you. And again, it's uncomfortable, but you got go, you got to go with it. You got to go with it. It's going to help put you in more of an emperor energy. Okay, again, master keeps coming to me. Master of your domain. Yeah, it's being really true to yourself and your emotions and what you really feel and what you really need to do for yourself so that you can go out and and start doing the shit that you really need to do. Because you'll know that you'll know the choice to make. You'll know the path to take as master of your domain. Tell me about the tower for Aries regarding love, July 12th to the 21st. Okay. Overall energy. Oh, I love it. Victory. Oh, yes. Jupiter Leo energy. Victory and success. And look at what's behind it. Five of cups. Scorpionic energy. Look at that. This is what you're overcoming. You, you are going to be in the fields. If some of you aren't already, I'd be really surprised, okay? But you're going to conquer that. You're going to conquer that by accepting what you need to accept about yourself and change what needs to be changed so that you can be the true master of your domain and you will not be confused anymore on what decision you have to make, okay? All right. So, wow. I love it, Aries. I freaking love it. Let's look at this Knight of Swords and then we'll pull some advice. I'm going to use the Gilded Tarot for this one. <clears throat> Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Tell me about Knight of Swords. I am getting... Mm -hmm. Okay. We don't have any other cards. We don't have any cards yet for the Knight of Swords. But I am getting a little bit of a romance going on here. This is only going to be for some of you, not for all of you. Where there is an apology coming in, Aries. And I do feel like it's coming from you. It doesn't have to be necessarily, but that's how it's feeling to me. Because you're getting... Oh, okay. It's related. It's related to this. Okay. So... <coughs> excuse me aries uh sorry jason messaged me again mm. okay aries there's a subgroup going on here within the group i'm talking about okay where this clarity while it's hard it's like while it's you know like swallowing cough syrup it's realizing that you need to right some wrongs with a person 
a person that you do have emotion for and someone that you really do want to apologize for but apologize for oh, that oh, apologize for that's interesting how that came out apologize for that's gonna resonate with one or two of you but anyway apologize too okay and you want to come in with an apology and very haste hastily hastily i don't know why that's the word hastily um as an emperor as an emperor very masculine energy whether you're male or female very very masculine energy and you will be victorious you will be, be victorious and there will be some truth delivered around this apology okay and the confusion will be lifted the confusion in the situation will be lifted and that's for the little romantic situation i just picked up on but yeah it's definitely about righting some wrongs that have taken place here aries because of this mindset of needing to be free needing it to be about me 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 and again no judgment we've all been there all right so let's look at the knight of swords so i have the knight of swords for aries so i have the knight of swords for aries regarding love July 12th to the 21st. Tell me about the Knight of Swords for Aries regarding love. July 12th to the 21st. And remember, guys, this could always be all vice versa. Okay. <clears throat> Tell me about the Knight of Swords for Aries regarding love. July 12th to the 21st. Tell me about the Knight of Swords for Aries regarding love. July 12th to the 21st. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Oh my. Virgo energy. Let's see. Oh, sorry, guys. It's Jason. Anyway, uh, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So this deliver of truth, it's about your abundance. Remember, you need, you need to make some choices about which way do I go for my abundance. And again, I was feeling a little bit like more career, but it could also be a home because some of you were definitely looking at homes, right? Um, this And for those in the romantic situation, it could be the home that you want to have with this person. But I feel like it's the other person delivering the truth here about what's possible about what's possible and again for some of you this is the guide showing you what's possible about this the reason it's in reverse is because you don't have it yet okay that's why it's in reverse you don't have it yet you need to you need to attain it you need to pick the path to attain it once you pick the path it's, it'll be upright but it's not in your grasp yet because you haven't made the choices you need to make yet okay yeah about what's possible what's possible okay Tell me more about the Knight of Swords for Aries. I am feeling in that romance situation. For some of you, this could also happen in your a work scenario here. I'm feeling both. <laughs> if you're having a work romance, this will, def this will definitely apply. <clears throat> and I hate to say it, Aries, because it's going to really irritate. Oh, so your higher selves are already irritated because you already know what I'm going to say <laughs> about maybe what you did to kind of prohibit this from from coming to fruition so far just the messenger guys i can feel it i'm just the messenger tell me about the knight of swords tell me about the knight of swords that's too many all right let's see what else we got <clears throat> Tell me about the Knight of Swords for Aries regarding love. All right, I got a Queen of Swords out here. Tell me about the Knight of Swords for Aries regarding love. July 12th to the 21st. Oh, geez. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. A lot of cards are coming out. Tell me about the Knight of Swords for Aries regarding love. All right. So now we have, oh, wait, the Queen of Swords came out first. Queen of Swords, Libra energy could also be air or water. <clears throat> With the Eight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Then we have King of Cups, Scorpionic energy could also be water or air. With, oh my, Four of Cups, Cancerian energy, and the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy here, okay? Wow, okay. <clears throat> so about what's possible in your abundance. Now, let's look at this energy. This Queen of Swords with the Eight of Pentacles. This Queen of Swords is working her ass off, okay? Her or him, doesn't matter the gender. Really working their ass off really analyzing situations i feel like major busy bee energy for those in the romantic situation it is the other person okay and they're the one who, ones who are delivering truth to you some of you again it's a guy delivering truth while you have this other person here who's really working their ass off i don't feel like they're really talking to you that much aries if they are it's very minimal or telepathic telepathic but they're busy they're very busy i'm also getting like Oh, Aries, you're not going to like this. 
don't bother me. <laughs> I hate saying it like that. Yeah, definitely for those in a romantic situation or where there was a career situation and it kind of blew up in either either of yours faces, this person is almost burying themselves in work. Yeah, burying themselves in work. It's a very uncomfortable interaction. It's a very uncomfortable interaction. Um, Aries, for some of you, I mean, this is also energy that you've that you've already harnessed. Yeah, okay, thank you. Um, to where it's like, you know, that energy of me, 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 freedom, freedom, me, just keep going, keep pushing, can't really pay attention to other people. You buried yourself in your work to get to where you are, and like now you're stopping and doing that self-reflection, right? And as the Queen of Swords, you really cut people out. You really did. You cut a lot of people out. All right, so let's see here. Now we have King of Cups with the Four of Cups and the Nine of Pens. For some of you, this is about a work offer, interestingly enough. Um, and you as the Knight of Pentacles, someone who really wants to commit to you work-wise. And for others, it is in a romantic situation where there is this apology coming forward. <clears throat> apology coming forward. There's going to be some truth delivered here. Um, and kind of like, hey, I know I did wrong. I know I shouldn't have been this way that or the other i've done some self-reflection i'm working on shit what do you think and then it goes into like passive contemplation mode okay because for those in that romantic situation like i said this person's working a lot and that don't bother me sort of energy it's like they don't really they want they want to look at this offer aries they want to look at this apology but at the same time, they're like, I don't know if I could deal with Aries anymore. I hate to, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Remember, this could all be vice versa. This could all be vice versa, okay? But that's how this is feeling to me. Wow. Very interesting. And then overall energy from that of swords? Not of swords. <laughs> so I won't go further into that. Uh, but let's pull some advice for you, Aries, okay? Sorry, I'm getting dragged into this. I want to I wanna figure out why I'm getting dragged back into this. Aries, you know, for those where this is all about your growth and your self-love, you're in this passive contemplation of, can I really commit to myself in an emotional way? Can I really commit to not running from my emotions? Can I really commit to being in my emotional waters in a balanced way, in a balanced way? But with that four of cups, again, it's, a very, it's feeling very passive, okay? So let's pull some advice, but you will be victorious. Remember, you will be victorious, all right? Any advice for Aries regarding this spread? Any advice for my Aries? I would not be surprised if a horse comes out. <laughs> Any advice for my Aries regarding this spread? Any advice for my Aries regarding this spread? Remember, Aries, if you just if you just go to full acceptance surrender mode and do the work you got to do, you will not be confused on where do you need to go, okay? It'll become so clear, and you will, you will be in an even better place, okay? <clears throat> Any advice for my Aries regarding this spread? <clears throat> Any advice for Aries regarding this spread? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, I love it. I love it. Vulture spirit. Nothing is wasted. 63 breaking down to a nine. This is the recycling, um, the recycling animal, essentially the recycling class of the ecosystem. I love vultures. They're such fascinating creatures. But anyway, vulture really doesn't waste shit. Okay. In Aries, you are going to be harnessing the energy. You should be harnessing that energy of like leaving nothing like no stone unturned is actually the phrase i just got leaving no stone unturned regarding the truth regarding the truth about yourself the truth about your situation and the truth of where you want to go okay and what's really going to make you happy okay leave no stone unturned look at every little thing look at every little thing okay and turn all of that painful emotion into something productive something constructive for you right it's like monetize your pain Monetize your pain areas and it'll work out for you. It's, it's feeling very related to the emperor energy. So I do feel like that's relating to uh, work for a lot of you. Monetizing your pain, okay? All right, let's see what else we have. <clears throat> I 
they tell me to give you a little piece of advice and I don't know why they're telling me to tell you this so I'm just gonna tell it to you people relate to you a hell of a lot more when you really are transparent and really tell the full truth about yourself the good the bad and the ugly okay um and it's interesting because I, okay so this is something like for something that i've definitely learned over time oh, hey kitty uh, i think he woke up from his nap and was like where's my mom um he's distracting me this is something i've learned through my lifetime and mostly just because i never I never knew how to not be myself, <laughs> honestly. Like it's, life is so hard as it is, guys. Life is really fucking hard as it is. It's a hell of a lot harder when you try to not be yourself. And and there's also no shame in anything that we've been through. And that's something I learned a long time ago. <clears throat> that's weird, I got a call and then it stopped. Um, and there's no shame in, in whatever it is you've been through. And when you're honest about that and you put it out there, like. It does surprise people, but it also inspires people to really be just who they are, and people really appreciate that. So Aries, I feel like that's gonna help some of you in your work for some reason. So just a little piece of advice. Anyway. Oh, I love it. Dragonfly, truth transcends illusion. That's so funny, I was just talking about that. Now we're talking about truth. <laughs> Transcending illusions, getting, you know, showing you the real you, right? Anyway master number this is a mastery energy but it is about intuition okay like i said your intuition is going to help you make the right decision here you know the right decision to make once you deal with oh once you deal with any blocks that you've been carrying um around that's been preventing you from having true clarity about yourself and also about what what's going to make you really happy Let's see what else we got any other advice for aries regarding the spread oh, oh that's a lot that's a lot no okay thank you I was like, like that's too many i'm not taking those thank you <clears throat> any other advice for aries regarding this spread oh yes any other advice for aries regarding this spread any other advice for aries regarding this spread all right so then we have coyote spirit trust in divine detours 16 breaking down to a seven i freaking love this card especially for you guys right now because this clarity coming in, the self-reflection, you guys being in the feels, it is a major curveball for you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because it makes you really uncomfortable. And you didn't expect it because it's definitely not your typical energy. It's definitely not what happens to you on a, on a norm, right? Um, but it, it's happening for a reason. Coyote Spirit is a bit of a trickster. They throw curveballs to get you in the right place. Whether you've strayed or whether there's been a little change that... Oh shit, let's make a little change in Aries' life because something needs to be altered here curveball it's getting you to the right place okay aries so just trust it just trust it no matter how uncomfortable it is and then overall we have wombat spirit be at home you got to be comfortable in your skin sorry so i know harsh truth is kind of coming in guys but you're aries you can handle it you guys can handle it this is an energy of 68 so that breaks down to what is that F a five that breaks down to a five change and transformation you are changing aries you got a tower too to prove it <laughs> you got a tower to prove it you have to get comfortable with yourself and in your own skin and in your emotions okay that that's how you get true balance is by really harnessing every aspect of yourself and not being afraid to go there whether it's the mind whether it's your intuition uh your heart the actions you take it's like you have to be balanced in all of those things all the elements right air fire earth and water to be a true manifester to really go after what you want and to also be balanced enough to have your intuition intact to receive messages from your guides to make these right choices okay you got to be comfortable in your life and in your own skin and what you have going on and you're realizing shit maybe i'm not so comfortable and then you're going to make those proper changes right you're going to make those proper changes leaving no stone unturned it's going to really amp up your intuition you're going to know exactly where you need to go because of this curveball that spirit has thrown you. It's all happening at the same time for a reason because it's exactly what needs to happen for you to make the right decision, okay? Oh, Aries, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon, check that out, along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Now that I'm back, um, it'll be you'll, you'll be seeing more Instagram stuff again, okay, guys? All right, I will see you later. Have a good week. Namaste.